the Chiefs. I think Shogun put it very well. If NRG wants to have confidence going into tomorrow, this is a must win series for him. Absolutely agree. They, they, they really did kind of lay it all out on the table quite nicely. It is a vulnerable uh, space station with Sathu. That being said, I, I still think space station isn't in too bad of a spot. Uh, I I think you can really keep Sathu in that same role that Rettles was playing. To be fair, you sure will probably have a lessening of effectiveness, but still think Space Station is not a team you can take lightly. I think around 40% feels pretty okay, to be honest. Especially with NRG, we've seen them struggling a bit. And you see double demo coming out from Garrett early on. It's gonna put the boost advantage in favor of NRG. We'll see how well they can work it. Justin has Garrett in the middle. Garrett jumping early, rebound out to Squishy, and that will be blocked. The defense holding strong so far, but now a backboard bounce. Justin, Ooh. it pings off everybody and somehow bounces out, but the attack is still coming. Gotta be careful with your space station. Finally a chance to break out here with Arsenal, and that flick is just to buy time and make sure everybody behind him has time to come forward with the play. And Space Station fight off a good first thrust, but they might be on the back foot again here. Oh, and you see Sathu wasn't able to stop the backward bounce, but did get in the way of the shot. Arsenal taking it up field. Flip reset, didn't push it further. He's out of the play. Now the onus on Sathu again to get the stop. He'll be blocked out ball in the Space Station half. Shot towards net. Arsenal just landed, but still able to get the jump and get the save. Such beautiful recovery from Arsenal on defense and things to watch out for here against NRG are definitely going to be how well Sathu is playing on defense. Typical's a good third man when it comes to offense, but where you might see Sathu struggle is really going to be in holding off that pressure. And that's a great deflecting touch out in the corner, forcing NRG to play it from a more difficult position. Yeah, Sathu playing the pass and he jumped early. Sathew, like you said, Chiefs, there's going to be a lot of defensive moments that will hinge on his play. You can already see it. Sathew now down to Arsenal, and that's blocked out by Garrett. Typical to the corner. Justin has Squishy in the middle. The ball floating towards him, but Sathew will get the touch before being demolished. Beautiful play again. Always getting that ball out to the safety of the corner, and here he's just got to buy some time. And doesn't really handle it well, but NRG don't really have the resources behind them to really thrust here. Space Station, chance to clear if they win a challenge. And it seems like Space Station is like a, a wounded older lion who's <laughs> still able to fight off those young cubs. But man, NRG, they seem like oh. they're about to take them down and that one will bounce in. Sipical being harassed on the goal line. And it was just too much pressure for Space Station to handle. First blood for NRG, and what a touch from Justin. Like, just going straight up with that one because they had that ball challenged pretty nicely. They were right out in front of it, ready to go, and he just got such a great hit straight up and followed it up nicely with a quality bump, and NRG took him two minutes, but they got there. They certainly did. This ball spending lots of time in the Space Station half. Sathu already four saves. Demo's in favor of NRG as well. And Rettles, when he's playing on Space Station, when they're doing well, he is that lead attacker. And he's getting a lot of demos, getting people out of position. And you're seeing Sathu much more defensive. Already four saves out of the seven they have. And now that one off the crossbar and in. Arsenal with a huge shot. What a finish from Arsenal. This is a beauty. I mean, just getting aggressive there in the midfield of Sathew, and that takes a real fortunate skip off that corner, and not to mention, that ball's straight in. <laughs> I think NRG might have pulled it out. That crossbar bounce, tipping it down, helped Arsenal out. Not only that achieves, but the, oh. the skip off the corner was so hard. So it was, good. It was yeah. crazy. You can't really rely on those touches. But Space Station, they're happy to get back in this one regardless of how it comes. Aaron's gonna put this off the backboard. Sipical, well handled. You see him getting the stop, keeping the ball close, and now getting the bump on Justin. Oh, Possession back for Space Station. You know, I'm sad to see that get squandered so quickly because Arsenal does the right thing. His teammate makes the play, like you said, handling it nicely on the backboard, gives Arsenal the space, and then you just mishit the ball and have to go fight for possession. Ugh, it's irritating. 
And this has been a fight for possession for Space Station. And RG playing with chip on their shoulder, losing to FaZe earlier today, going the distance against version one. Certainly not top form NRG, many people would say, and I would agree. Miss there from Squishy at midfield. Matthew will put it down the line, but you see him giving up the ball. The fake from Justin, the pass mm. attempt. You saw Squishy waiting there. Justin getting that ball dunked off his hood. And Arsenal consistently, he's been a little bit hampered recently. He's been barely boost star for the last minute or so. So SSG kind of playing with a lame duck at the moment. Finally, he's got some boost and quality touch out to the midfield. And he's going to make sure to hold on to extra boost as well to try and keep NRG a bit more of a respectful distance past Ooh. Arsenal. Back post saved by Justin Garrett G to clear. Final chance may belong to NRG. Gonna have to watch out though. Justin. Trying to keep this ball airborne? No, he won't be able to, and we've got overtime. And it has not been NRG's day for overtime. Out of the five times they've gone to overtime achieves, they've only won one game. Well, they might have a chance here. Justin trying to jump one in. Garrett G's not able to get all the way around it, and a poor day in OT. It's not gonna do them any favors here, missing an early chance like that. Justin, tip back, typical high pop. Arsenal, flip reset. Couldn't get underneath it for the scoop. The ball in NRG's hands, Justin with Garrett. Oh, man. Pop it high, Justin gonna stay with it. Pacifical shutting that down. Ooh, second chance for Justin, caught flipping out. Didn't really believe it was coming back. Pass to Squishy and he just airballed it. That's a tough one. To be fair, he might've been a little low on booster. Didn't have enough recovery time. And NRG, they're, they're pressing. They've got a huge shot advantage in this game. They're at nine to Space Station's four, which would make sense if you've been watching all six minutes as Justin gonna, or excuse me, Squishy, gonna cut this one down off the back wall and they will get their second OT win on the day. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Squishy using up every single bit of boost. But the thing I love about this shot is he's going and then he uses back. He just presses back, does a backflip yeah. and touches that down. He is so in control in that moment. And that was the exact movement that was required in that situation. Squishy, that not really bringing you back when you've seen it. You knew you, the, the, the squishy ceiling shot back at the <laughs> World Championship where he was so in control of his car, moving in a way that the defense did not expect, doing it again there to get the angle on the shot down. That was a world-class shot by Squishy. It, it really does separate the good double tappers from the great double tappers. It is understanding when you have to let that ball bounce back to you and managing your speed on that approach. That is always the hardest part. Trajectory, you can correct most of the time, but the timing is always so tight and squishy, executing to perfection there in OT. Yeah, not much space to work with. I think the defense was even expecting a, a backboard pass there. Squishy, though, going right for net. And even before that on the setup, you saw he got the tip up to even yeah. set up the second hit off the backboard, and he had to jump very quickly. So Squishy, uh, fantastic mechanics there. You can't really <laughs> criticize him for that. There's been some criticisms <laughs> from Squishy. You've been paying attention to what the community says. Uh, what Twitch chat will say, but Squishy seems to shut up those haters time and time again. And that play was a huge one. NRG, especially when they've been struggling so much today in overtime. Squishy, big time goal. To be fair though, long way to go. I mean, when you outshoot your opponents 10 or 12 to five or so, and you're just winning by one goal in OT, you either need to see NRG step it up on offense because if Space Station start equalizing the possession, NRG might be in trouble as Arsenal not able to get a clean look at the net here and will be nicely defended by NRG. And you had mentioned four shots last game. Oh, and we see one from Sathew, Sathew. And where was the defense? I think Justin might've been yeah. waiting yeah, he went for a corner boost. Oh, the worst time, too. As Sipical's taking that up the ceiling, I mean, sure, it doesn't look like Sipical's got an angle towards net, but uh, kind of an odd time to go for boost there from Justin. Not, not really sure why it felt like as the ball is getting touched towards the center, now's the time to abandon your post. Perhaps not expecting that just uh, the, the pinball of the ball off the ceiling. Perhaps. Going right down. Justin now, chance to make amends. 
Get a piece of it. Squishy towards net and a save from Safu off the post. That had some pace. How did that go off? Safu basically hit that towards the inside of the post and it just squeezed between him and the post and just bounced right out. Are you joking? Garrett G flip reset. Can't squeeze it home. Justin trying to keep it in the play and Squishy in charge of buying time, but Safu again, <laughs> another big defensive showcase. He's making it happen. That one, about as close as it gets, <laughs> Chiefs. I don't think you really want to be in that situation because you know, you're, you're mi millimeters away from an own goal. You'll take what you can get, though, and that's been uh, Space Station all day, I think. Take what you can get because you are kind of playing, not at a handicap, but... Certainly not at full strength. Yes. And that's no disrespect to Sapphire. That's just testimony to how good Rettles is. And that one will sneak off the post and roll in Garrett G, keeping the attack going. Another quality goal for NRG. Yeah, Arsenal, I think, not really doing anything wrong there. He was trying to let that ball pop off his car relatively softly so he could trap it and then force the ball out on a dribble and, and make a challenge happen. It, it kind of just kicked off his car a little bit harder than I think he was expecting. And the follow through on the dismount from the backboard just didn't quite come through. It's just in trying to get triple demo in an easy net, but no dice. Got two, though. Two out of three ain't bad. And you're seeing more demos coming out from NRG. We saw this in game one as well. And oh, it's gosh. just continuing to flow. That's four in a minute. Can he score that? So much boost being used up in a team bump. Squishy will still oh, stay yeah. with it. Flip reset ball. And that will be saved by Sipical. <laughs> team bump into a, an almost beautiful goal. Simpical really got caught out there by uh, Squishy actually being able to recover. I think he thought he was going to have a pretty uncontested push towards the ball there. A little back pass, but stolen away by Garrett G. Not on a pace behind it, and Arsenal caught trying to force himself into the boost and into position, and still somehow Space Station able to muscle that ball off the goal line. Awkward ball for Sathu. He had to jump straight up, but he did make the play. It was a double commit, and we're seeing the stress there. It, it, it's like Space Station is a dam. And they're holding back the, the Rapids. But uh, it's starting to crack. And you can see NRG about to overflow. The attack's on coming. Garrett. Oh, wow, aggressive. Very aggressive. Now that could be a chance for Space Station. Sathu going to look to get this ball into the middle. Rolls back to the corner. Now Sipical towards net. Squishy got back and covered the angle. And now he'll have a 1v1 situation. Taps it oh, out, misses the it. shot. But you saw what he was going for. Yeah, it was that quick recovery with the wheels, and he wanted that tight wave dash back around the ball. Just mistimed it. Thankfully, his teammates are going to pick him up. Justin Garagee will convert a second goal here. You see Sathu up very early off the Ooh. ceiling pass. Justin Keen to use the ceiling. We've seen him score before. Just tap it off the ceiling, bump the goalie that time. Yeah. Getting the feed to Garrett. And now we see... Squishy not moving some latency issues. I had the scoreboard up. It looked like he had some ping problems. So we'll have a pause coming out as we get that resolved. About a minute left. NRG still with a one goal game. And we'll wait to hear from the admins what the exact ruling is. And But it seems like that goal would stand. The problem coming uh, on kickoff. So NRG achieves. Uh, you saw Space Station valiantly keeping NRG at bay, having some some small windows for counterattacks, but this has been such a, a, a possession game for NRG, and they're not letting up. Yeah, it's it's kind of the the repeat of game one, really. NRG all over the backboard and around in the corners and getting a lot of good challenges on the ball and keeping possession. Not necessarily always able to have clean looks, but opportunities. And that's really what NRG is capitalizing here on. It's just Space Station not quite having that same level of control on the defensive side. They're able to, like you said, hold back the tide, but it's tough. And they're really needing to find some type of way to get that transition game going, force NRG off the back foot. And those demos from NRG certainly are not helping. It was like four yeah. demos inside <laughs> of 30 seconds or something. And those throw big holes out in the rotation and force you to play a lot more passively. Well, you know, it achieves. We see NRG play. We know that they have a dynamic offense. They're a team that can find ways to win. And we've seen them win with the scalpel. But today it looks like they're using a, a hammer. hammer. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, it's uh, it's the no frills NRG here. Not not much need for finesse. Just go fast and see if you can make it happen. And so far, it's working. And and to be honest, you, if it, if the hammer's getting the job done, you know, don't go get a different tool. <laughs> yeah, it's the tool for the job today. And I think it's the right call, even strategically. If you have someone who's coming in, I uh, like Satyu, who's the sub quality player, previous pro, you know, has land experience, Ooh. but you know, been out of the the pro scene for a little bit, at least playing teams of the caliber in our of NRG. Just go for those fast plays, keep hammering it off the back, yeah. keep going for the demos, and then you find your moment where you just overwhelm them, and that has worked so far for NRG. Yeah, it's all about forcing that high stress situation on defense. Even if every approach you have isn't going to result in a shot on target, it's just that continuation of building of that pressure. And eventually, you know, someone on Space Station, even if it's not Sathew, it could just easily be Sipical and Arsenal thinking that someone can't get to it as they're rotating around trying to hold on to boost. So, yeah, it's really just throw it all at them and make them do the work that needs to get done if they want to get out. They're running out of time to do it. Down by one. Arsenal off the corner. Sipical, good speed. Backboard That's bounce. Smart. Can he get the ball? No, he can't get the shot. But it's over to Sathew. Sathew backboard pass. Arsenal jumping straight smart. up will miss. Oh, no. And Garrett is going to clear it down. You saw Space Station. They had the moment where Sipical won that ball at the midfield. And you thought maybe they could convert, but it was just out of reach. Yeah, definitely a tough double tap from Sibical. Full speed like that, right towards the backboard. Really no room for error on your approach. If your trajectory is even slightly off, I mean, you just won't have the space required to fix the, uh, to make the adjustment. Unfortunately, not able to find one there. NRG again, two to one. And even there at zero seconds, Arsenal pulling off that yeah. ball and letting Sibical trap it. That was a great play. It was just they well, didn't have the command there to catch it cleanly. It was it was out of necessity as well because Arsenal, he was cheating up quite a bit in those final yeah. seconds and the bounce was too high for him. He wouldn't have been able to do much other than tip it. So Out to the midfield yeah, or something where you just have so to So he's reset. just got to leave it because typical, there's a, a better chance he's going to score. But if Arsenal's playing a little bit further back, that backward pass was so hard. It was hit so hard. Yeah, but if he's playing a little bit more back, he might have had an opportunity to either go for net or go for the backboard for typical to clean up. So even though NRG got the win, they were vulnerable in those last moments. And so we arrive at our third segment of five minutes in Space Station Gaming. It, it, like we said, you've got to find some way to get out of your own half. It has been way too much playing defense here in this series for them if they want to take down NRG. And so far, an okay start. And Sipical kind of just forced into giving ground because he didn't have the space to turn and challenge. But those are the touches you want. Those nice long air dribbles where you're able to force NRG to come and take the ball from you. Yep. NRG, we've seen them caught back a few times on defense in awkward positions. This is another awkward ball. You see Justin had to jump for that without full boost, but Sathy flew right by it. Squishy. The second touch, just into the corner, looking for another hit. And oh, you see beautiful. him going for the control. Even I was expecting an infield pass right away. Oh, beautiful. Too close, though. Space Station Gaming doing a much better job here in game three of at least, you know, keeping pace of play going back and forth across both sides here. But still, when it gets down into that corner, that's where you get a little scared for him. So far, so good. Even though NRG has had a lot of the possession, you just think back to, to the passing plays. We haven't really seen much of it from NRG. It's been mostly those brute force plays. Yeah. Ooh. And you see two demos Absolutely. come out. Infield pass to Justin. He'll play it off the side. NRG, I think they're going to be happy with the results so far, especially if they can close it out in a sweep. But yeah. This is not the beautiful offense that we've seen them bring out at times. True, but like we said, Hammer's getting the job done. Just uh, keep smacking those double taps towards the corners off the backboard. And, you know, the, the, it really does put Space Station in kind of an awkward position because it's actually incredibly tough to handle, you know, strong touches towards the walls 
back to yourself or, or looking for passes because it's, it's tough to take the pace off the ball and keep it tight which could be inhibiting Space Station's ability to trap the ball and force a cleaner transition game. And the transition game, that is where Space Station is going to have to figure it out. And we know they can do it, especially when you've got Arsenal waiting up there at midfield, whether he's going to catch it, go for the dribble, go for the fakes. He's got all the tools in his toolkit to make it happen for Space Station, but they need that help right now. Typical downfield. Get the 50. It's bouncing down. Sathew beat by Garrett, who got the pass over to Squishy, who sends it in for Justin in oh. a hard shot down Main Street is going to claim the lead for NRG. Well, it's a beautiful challenge from Garrett G. And look at him instantly kind of force Arsenal to give a little bit of ground there in the midfield. If Garrett G wasn't there, Arsenal could go and cut that pass down. But he forced the adjustment on the rotation, gives a little bit of a lane, and they nail it. And I don't mean to, to pick on Sathew, but that challenge at the midfield, that's where Space Station got put in a very bad spot. Garrett won it very clean. well out to, yeah. yeah, super clean, out to Squishy, and that allowed NRG to set up the passing play. So we start to see him using the scalpel a bit more, and Sathew has a chance to redeem himself. Yeah, just a skip line. <laughs> Bold choice there from Garrett G. Always love the, the jump back from the midfield and just kiss it off the wheels back out towards the midfield line. It's dangerous play, but very effective when you nail it. And all it's going to take is one effective play for Space Station to get back into this one. Squishy off the ceiling. Garrett towards net. Typical doesn't oh, no. have the boost. And Garrett will punch another one in. Oh, especially when he's so far back. Uh, uh, to be honest, looking at his rotation line, he's he's just confused oh. that that boost isn't there. He actually cycled back around and was just yep. like, well, is my timing off a little bit or something? No, he it said, just he said, wasn't it has there. To be coming up soon. <laughs> it's been forever. Oh, the, it, it's That's not even break. really a, a mental like lapse from Sipical. It's just didn't know when that boost got taken at some point and generally all of these guys have a, a pretty good mental sense of when stuff should spawn roughly and that's what happens when they're off and sometimes you're in those situations where you think can i even save this if i don't get full boost yeah it was a and strong he was, he was running on empty and so it, it looked like if he had gone back immediately maybe those small pads would have been enough yeah but you don't you got you just got to make that split second decision. You don't get a second chance in this one. So, Let's see if Space Station can bring it back. Time running out. Playing keep away. It's an old infield pass, and that's going to get cleared out. Squishy killing so much time into oh, wow. Garrett. One more <laughs> for the road. NRG dominate this final game of the series. Now look at this pass from Squishy. Oh boy, I mean, that's pretty gross considering that the guy coming to challenge him had the angle towards the net cut off and pretty much a pass that wasn't that direct. That's that's quite a finish from Squishy to Garrett to it, put the finishing like, touches on. Yeah, it looked like Squishy greased his sunroof. Yeah. <laughs> then came out fast. And NRG, they get the win and it's a sweep over Space Station who was hurting. They didn't have rattles, but Sathew came in, played his best, and he did a respectable job. But when you're playing against a team like NRG, it's going to be a tall order to take him down. And NRG getting the clean win. And we said that they, they needed a nice, strong, convincing win if they want to have confidence, especially considering how the day started for them with that loss. So bounce back, beat his, uh, uh, a limping space station. And they, they really did come out and... and make sure to break it cleanly right there so well done nrg uh well-deserved win and we'll see what you can do yeah it was the right strategy nrg they proved that out there on the field we're going to go to a quick break and when we come back more rlcsx